disappointing home loss with a great crowd. You know, I thought the student section was great. Make sure we thank them because we'd love to keep getting them out. Uh, hopefully, we play some good basketball for them. But, you know, I, I thought their physicality bothered us on both ends. You know, on their offensive end, I thought, you know, they talked to Sin, hurt us in the first half. Our pigs needed to do a better job. Our guards couldn't get downhill. I mean, they were very physical on our drives, just didn't, couldn't really get in the paint to create much. So we, I think we were 12 or 32 from two on the, on the, the night, which, you know, we've been one of the best field goal percentage teams. We, you know, we had number one offense in the country in Kemp Only. A lot of it was able to get to the rim, finish at the rim. They didn't have real rim protection, but they just didn't let you get to the rim. So, you know, they, they did a great job. And we finished 10 of 24 at the rim. So, to handle their physicality well, you know, you're not getting downhill, creating help. Your threes end up being tougher threes. We didn't shoot as well from three, so no, we, we, we got to do a better job. I mean, I thought defensively we were good. I think they were 0 0.92, if I remember right, in the first half, which, again, that's the top three different defense in the country. We did it for 20. Offense struggled, defense kept us in the game, then offense came alive in the second half. I think we hit three straight threes, went on a 9 0 run, go up seven. They call a timeout, and we don't have enough defensive pride right now to get stops out of that timeout. I think they go on a 13 0 run, 16 2 run, I believe, out of the timeout. Like we we got to get some defensive pride about us, all of us, you know, those guards coming off the screens, you know. We're not in the ball enough. We're not up into it. They just, you know, Gerard's good. I mean, they got really good players, and we got to do a better job. This is multiple times where the other team's best player or players go for more than their season average. I mean, it's PJ Hall at 21, Gerard with 16, and Chase Hunter with 15. Like, we got to do a better job on the guys that we know that they're going to go to, particularly out of the timeout when we go on a run and get a lead. So. We, we gotta get better on defense. You know what we gotta do? We just we got chosen pride. I gotta do a better job coaching them. We gotta do a better job as a program getting, getting our team better on defense. Start with Nick Kelly. Yeah, I mean you talk about their physicality and how important toughness is to you and for your players. Uh, where would you assess the toughness of this group is at right now in terms of defense and offense? Not where it needs to be. I mean you look like you know. On the defensive end, you know, we kept getting ducked in. The offensive end, you kind of look at it. I did think some guys showed some toughness, and, and different guys showed it at various times. I mean, like some of our guys that we know can be tough at some plays where they're not tough. You know, so you got to do it for 40 minutes. Like, you know, I mean, if you, if you look at our at the rim finishing, and we're 10 or 24, like, we, we we didn't finish at the rim. I thought their physicality kind of got to us a little bit. And, you know, and then on the defensive end, you know, the duck ends. And, I mean, Shefflin had 14 rebounds. And our picks, our picks got to do a better job with the ball. Like they ran in top of eight. You know, this definitely wasn't one of his better nights. He didn't finish well. And, you know, he's our leading rebounder with eight. We got to get some more guys to rebound the ball a little bit better. I mean, it ends up even on the glass, a lot of that's because our guards rebound the ball so well, and we got pretty even rebounding, but they, they got big that dominated the glass. You know, two really 14 and eight between Shefflin and Hall. So, uh, you know, we're, we're definitely not tough enough to be competing for an SC championship right now. That, that's for sure. Awesome. Yeah, Mark and Aaron kind of carried the load tonight offensively. Is there any kind of you know consistency or you know confidence issues with the rest of the guys uh, on the offensive side of the floor right now? Yeah, I mean, there may be, I and mean, we, you know, Grant's up at 14, but it took him 15 shots to get it. He's got to be more efficient for us. You know, Ryland's a better player than what he showed. He, you know, Ryland can make shots. You know, I need Trelly to get a little bit more aggressive. Plays 22 minutes, only shoots it four times. I think he's passing up some open shots he's got to take for us. You know, we do need to get some more production from some of these other guys, you know, if we get Sam a little bit better on defense, and he can really shoot it on offense. We can keep him in a little longer. You know, I didn't think our guard did a great job 
getting our bigs involved in switch ball screens. You know, Pringle plays 21 minutes only gets one shot at that weight. I mean, he's one of the best field goal percentage shooters and you know, he takes shots he should make and he, and he makes them. Like, we got to get him more shots. You know, whether it's ball screens, we get him for one, he goes one for one. Like, we we got to do a better job doing what we should be doing offensively to get some other guys involved for sure. And then some other guys just got to make some shots at some point too, to be honest with you. Tony, on the right. You mentioned the, the student section showing out, but Jay Williams on air said that the crowd sounded like a tennis match. Did you have a response to that? And how would you feel from that energy? Yeah, I mean, at times I'm sure it did. I mean, they, they did a good, they called the timeout. But I heard the crowd was great at times. And then we got to give them something to cheer about, to be honest with you. You know, like come out and go on a 13 0 run and people are going to get quiet. You know, we, we, we need the crowd to kind of cheer us on to some stops. We also need our players to make some some plays to get the crowd into it sometimes, too. Like we made some in the first half. I mean, we had the play where Grant dives on the floor, kicks it up, you know, ends up with Mo's hands. We get a lot, like there's hustle plays, blue collar plays, toughness plays. And when you give up, multiple offensive rebounds in one possession, it, it's deflating. It's deflating to the coaching staff, it's deflating to the crowd. You know, crowd gets a little upset with, with, with a lack of effort, as they should, and we gotta do a better job making those tough effort plays that the crowd appreciates around here, and I think the crowd will get into it a little bit more. In the back. Mo uh, Wadi got his first start tonight. What did you think about his performance in the starting five? I look, I love Mo. Plays hard, he's about the right stuff, he's always, Got a smile on his face. He's studying it. He's uh, like he did good in his minutes. You know, I, I think you know he, he's a little foul prone. We got to get him to guard without foul, and we got to get him to convert a little bit. You know, better from the field. He missed a few shots. You know, but he, he's his first year in the system. He missed the entire summer with a with a foot injury. So he's really only started practicing full go really right before our first game. So he just, he's missed the entire off season. So, you know, everything with Mo, you gotta take with a grain of salt because he didn't even get the reps he needed to all off season because the surgery he had to have when he got here. But he's a great kid with a lot of athleticism and, and, and he's got the right heart, the right mindset. He, he's gonna give us some quality minutes throughout the year. I, I thought he did good in his minutes tonight. On the left over here. Uh, earlier, Aaron was in here. He said he didn't think the offense was a problem for the team. So, like, how do you assess that, and uh, what can you do better? Yeah, I mean, we ended up with a one-one. Like that—that's average. It wasn't elite like it's been. It wasn't number one in the country like it's been. The issue was when you prove for 20 minutes, you can hold them to a point nine two on defense, like we did in the first half. To around the second half, we were a point one point four nine. Uh, my guess would be he's referring to that. Like, we, our offense was good enough to win this game. If our defense, I mean, even if we were a 1-1 in the second half, so a one, we, were, I mean, we almost gave up a 1-5, which is would be the worst defense in the history of college basketball. Like, that, that's where we were for 20 minutes. So I, I'm guessing he was just referring to the fact if we locked down, if we play anywhere close to like we did in the first half and the second half, our offense was good enough to win the game, which it was. Now. Would we like to be better in the one-one? Yeah, we would. But like, but they're a good defensive team, and they had some physicality. We weren't used to it. We got to do a better job. It, this is great though, because you know, in basketball, you don't have to win every game to make the NCAA tournament. You know, football's one loss is you know, it's tough. Football's tough. Four play, four teams getting the playoffs right now, and one loss can mess up your whole playoff run for you. In basketball. You know, we can get our act together and make the NCAA tournament go on a run and play for a championship. Well, we're going to play teams that are, you know, we're trying to win SEC championships. So they're, they're a big deal around here. We try to win them. Like, if we're, if we're competing, you know, some programs act like the SEC regular season or SEC tournament don't don't mean that much. They mean something to us. Like, we're trying, if we're, we're in something, we're going to try to compete and win it. So, winning the regular season, the tournament's a big deal to us around here. We're going to play tough, physical teams in the SEC, like a Tennessee, that's going to do similar, like what happened to us tonight. We got to be ready for it. So playing a tough physical team like Clemson with a lot of veteran guys that cause this problem on our offensive end, it's, it's, it's good for us. So we got to go to the drawing board. We got to figure it out. We got to come in. But I can assure you, most of our time for the next until we figure it out. 
practices, we two weeks, three weeks, four weeks is going to be about ninety percent on the defensive end. Like our offense has enough firepower, and we'll make enough tweaks to to get where our offense needs to be. We we got to get some defensive minded guys that can play for forty minutes on the defensive end. Thank you, coach. All right, appreciate you guys.